Today on Screwing Around with Adam B, we're going to put Catalina on this old Mac Mini with bacon. This is Adam B. So no, actually we're not. This is an old um, uh, core, oh, it was originally a core solo. Pachuca solo. Um, at any rate, it had a 1.83 uh, processor in it, and I uh, swapped it out for a uh, 2 gigahertz uh, Core 220, and it's a nice little machine, but it is so very old and so very slow in trying to do modern stuff. So instead of this, I'm going to attempt to put Catalina on this. This is a recently acquired, new to me, but really old, 2010 Mac Mini. How can you tell it's 2010? It's the only wide flat one with a super drive in it. So, yeah. Actually works. I put discs in there and everything. So, what I'm going to do, see that, okay, the thing is, it came with, you know, a 5400 RPM drive, and it came with only uh, two gigs of RAM. Now I found a two, so right now it's got three. And I've actually done everything that I was gonna try and do tonight, but um, I'm gonna put in an SSD, because it was really slow. And anytime you can swap out a hard drive and replace it with an SSD, do so. So, let the games begin. Bottom? No, I am not holding my breath through this. Get off. Take out the RAM. Take out the RAM. I said you take out the... I forgot my tools. I'll be right back. Wow, look at that. No, you did that. Those some additional tools that I'm going to be wanting. Use later, I will show you. These are my regular tools. A knockoff kit equivalent to what they sell at iFix. And the uh, watch kind of broke. So that's why I keep the rubber band around it. Okay, so let's start taking stuff apart. It says that I fix it that it's moderate. Moderate. I, of course, lean a little more liberal, but I am willing to tolerate a moderate. Don't get me started on anything else. It says time required 55 minutes. Oh my god. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Move the bottom cover, set it aside. I'm going to start with T6s. I need me some T6 bits. Where's my T6 bits? T5. T whatever. 20? M? There we go. T6 bit. T6 bits for the fan. I do it all for my fans. Are you my fan? This is my fan. Okay. There's actually six comments. What's this? Lift the ear. And T yeah, six this my this as well out. There we go. Three fans and carefully pull the fan cables upward to lift the fan connector to remove the fan. I've done this kind of thing before on my other mini. Um, but, oh yeah, it was a little dusty too. And then over here, there's another T6. Take that out. Got a 
go somewhere. Did you see where I went? I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to stack up some of these things over here. Lift up the cowling from Batman. I'm going to grab it there. Loosen it. Boy, my lighting is really kind of direction. Everybody, meet my new fresh, my new cheap lamp from Walmart. Bulbs cost more than the lamp did. Yeah, that is that is interesting. At any rate, now we go for the antenna plate. And make the antenna plate. Six. Do a little T eight. What? Sorry, that's tomorrow actually. Or you know, yesterday. By the time you see this, then. I don't know when I'm going to edit this. But I'll get it later. Is it moving tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow during the day. Tomorrow's Saturday. Right now it is the 1st of November. 1st November we've seen in a while. Okay. And a plate is loose end. Lift and separate the plate from under. Wow, that is fuzzy under there. Um, excuse me a second. Okay. I know it's not like I'm taking it outside, blowing the air through it, but it's better than nothing. Okay, let's look at the monitors again. Um, okay, yeah, it's still attached there. Uh, they say to use a spudger. A spudger. The lighting in here is terrible. Um, have a spudger with me? Why, yes, I do. I'll begin spudging now. following three screws. One, two, and three. Uh, one, two, and uh, three. Looks like number three is not there. That's okay. She was a bargain. Uh, this, okay, so this is the eight in here. This is an eight. I may speed this whole thing up. You may be hearing me rattle on like bacon. Oh, that's that. Got it out already. Okay. And there. Yep. Up. Yeah. 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 Um, they actually sell a tool to do just what I'm about to do now. It consists of a piece of wire bent to like three quarters of a rounded rectangle. And the whole point of it is that you put it in these two holes. You can't see. You put them in these two holes. It's step 15 and I the yeah, iFix it for the mid 2010. So what I'm going to do is two thin screwdrivers that came supplied with something and just put them in here and slide a little towards me. They actually call it a Mac Mini Logic Board Removal Tool. And the whole thing just slides out of it. Now, I might not have to go much further and completely uh, remove this. Okay. 
Isn't it amazing what you can get on Amazon? Oh wait, I forgot something. Where is it? Come on, where are you? Yeah, there. Ha! And it comes with five different lenses. And it fits over my glasses. And I wish I had third party RAM that I bought with a piece of paper that I can't read now. Four gigs, 8,500, yeah, looks good to me. And no, I'm not going to worry about a wrist strap. Humidity in here is about 106%, so I'm not worried about any, uh, Static electricity. And that goes in. And that goes in. And I'll go in there at some point. And then take this off like that. Blinded me with science. Put this back on here at a five degree. Tilt and snap close. And now, while I clean this up, I'm also going to prepare a flash drive to install Catalina on here. Let's cut to the videotape. So what I got here is uh, I'm on my um, my MacBook Pro, which is um, too old to be running Catalina, but hey, it's running Catalina. So how do you, how do you do such a thing? Well, let's see. Uh, now I just set up this account so it may like annoy me with some, you know, hello, welcome stuff. So let's fire up that and let's go to. Um, dosdude1.com. Hey, serious smart. And here's his website, and here's his software, and here's the Catalina Patcher. So real simple. Since I'm going to be using the latest version, I'm going to download the latest version. Do I want to allow downloads? Yes. Mojave is so polite. Downing, downloading, downloading, downloading. <laughs> Yeah, well, like I said, it, yeah, I'm in light mode, but portions are in dark mode because, hey, you know, I'm in, uh, I'm using a patched copy of Mojave. Not everything's perfect, but I don't mind. Okay, so I'm going to take this Catalina Patcher and I'm going to drop it in the Applications folder. 
yeah, I got an older one, but I'll uh, replace it. And, oh, look, it wants to be sure that I mean this. Three, two, one. Copy, 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 copy. There's a there's an SSD in this laptop, so it's um, relatively quick. So now we go back to Applications. We'll go into Applications. And let's uh, get rid of that. And yeah, I've got some, uh, oh look, I have Mojave, and I have El Cap, and I have Yosemite, but I don't have um, Catalina. So let's run the Catalina Patcher. Now since they just came out with uh, 10.15.1, probably going to get my, probably going to want to get that. So to begin click continue thank you to these people continue download a copy now this used to be a menu item in the previous versions but now it's just right here as part of the install let's download Mac OS latest Catalina installer will be downloaded straight from Apple eight gigs later it'll be here yeah, this might take a little while. Yeah, this might take a little while. Lucky for me, it's the first of the month, and my, uh, download cap is reset because this is like the third time since it came out that I've downloaded it. Approaching 5%. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, I didn't forget about you. Look, we're about uh, 3,300. Just past that. Approaching 3,400. Wow. Okay, uh, I'll see you a little further up the line. We're going to miss it because I had some screen issues. Uh, all right, here we go. So here we go. We now want to create, sorry about that, just like really bad timing. Um, what we want to do is create a bootable installer. So I am going to insert a flash drive. Go back. Your bootable installer. There we go. Generic USB drive. Click start. Are you sure? Yes, because you know what? This has already got the uh, 1015 1, uh, 1015.0 installer on it, so I want to make 1015.1. So, yes. And once again, password. You'll never guess it. You'll never, never guess it. And now it's just going to um, build the disc. Patching the bass system. Next it'll patch the lead guitar and the drums. And then if we're lucky, the Mellotron. Preboot pre is like a preboot volume, and uh, they could call it socks because you put it on before your boots. Uh, Com Apple Time Machine, I guess it can boot from Time Machine, but I don't have my Time Machine drive plugged in right now, which is weird. I thought there'd be too much of an air gap. Um, finally, is the name of the um, it's the name of the boot drive on this computer because. 
I finally got a decent laptop. <laughs> That's what I named it. Um, and to be honest, it's, it's, it's not that new a laptop. It is a 2011. Got an i5, and uh, I've got, uh, I think, uh, 8 gigs of RAM in here right now, and uh, 500 gig SSD. And I'll catch up with you again when this is closer to being finished. Okay. Okay, well, I'm glad you got to look at my vacuum cleaner the whole time. I didn't realize the door was open, and you could see it. It's a good one. It's a shark. I just don't use it as much as I should. Hence the close quarters over here. Well, um, this is the generic USB flash drive that I just built. And um, all you got to do, really, I... I've already put in the uh, USB dongle for this. Monitor is hooked up here. Of course, it's the monitor. It's taking up half the your screen, please. You know what it is. Um, I'm going to move it a little so I can also see what's going on. This thing's heavy. <clears throat> it's also about nine years old, ten years old. No, it's older than that. I, you know, I, I talked in the past about these surgeries that I've had, and I once bought this right before I went in for a surgery, so I knew I would, something nice to come home to, because it was my first screen over, like, 17 inches, and it was very, very expensive. I think I paid less for the surgery. All right, well, this is plugged in. Donald's plugged in. Trackpad keyboard is, um, Turned on. It's so weird to hear that noise coming out of here. And so what we do is we just wait. Since the hard drive is fresh out of the package, it's hard drive. Since the SSD is fresh out of the package, there's uh, there's no operating system on it. It's not even formatted. So. If the computer is going to try and find something to boot from, it's not going to be that. It will, though, be this USB drive. And given this is a Macintosh, not a strange machine with some sort of weird BIOS that you got to go in and flip levers and push buttons and tell it, yeah, boot from USB, would you? Just this once? It's just booting up. Yay, Mac. And yet, I have a, an HDMI to DVI cable. I've found those to be convenient in the past for hooking up computers to a television. Now, TVs have the HDMI in. Computers usually have a DVI on the back, be they um, Macs or PCs. And if I need to push it to a TV, you know, that, that works. Here, it's the other direction. It's, um, hold that, my idiot, to don't venture, idiot. I don't, don't think those are the right, I don't think those are the right, um, expansions of those acronyms. Come on, you. Anyone have a gray felt tip pen? There we go. I knew I could help push it along a bit. I will say this. I bought this on eBay, I think it was. No, on Amazon reseller. They gave me a three-foot cable. 
it barely, I have a, I have a power strip right under this table here. And it barely reaches without, you know, weird contortional stretching. Contortional? Someone look that up for me, would you? Ah, language. Yes, I'd prefer to use one. Uh, Russian, French Canadian, Turkish. Now I'll go with English. It's the only one where I can spell my own name correctly. It's difficult. So this is the modified Catalina installment. And what's happened is it's the standard Catalina installer, except this post install has been added. And that's only if the computer requires it after, because it's also patched the installation routine to install any patches necessary for this particular model to go in place. So what I need to do first is format the drive. This is utility continue. Gee, I hope you can see this, but I'm not getting back up there again. I'm sitting on a milk crate on a towel on it on the floor here. And we are going to take this drive and partition it. No, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's, that's the boot drive. That's the boot SSD. Uh, USB. Now, USB. Yeah, yeah, that's the right one. And we're going to call it Mac SSD. And it's going to be APFS GUID Partition Map. Of course, this is GUID 1. The original GUID 0. Guido didn't like it. So it's it's doing its thing, it unmounts, it, do, it does this, it creates a container, it creates a bottle, it creates a... yeah, and there it is. It's done. Mac SSD blank sitting up there. We quit this. We are reinstall. Click reinstall. Continue. Continue. I accept. I agree. The only place to install it is Mac SSD. We install. And now we wait. How long did you think I could keep that up? Ugh. All right, just, just so you know, I have to be out the door in about 50 minutes, um, and I, I gotta change first. So um, I'm gonna get this as far along as it goes, and then, um, oh my God, oh my God, look at this news. The news, the news that you see on 
the internet these days. It's 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 amazing. It's insane. It's incredible. It's terrible. It's lovely. It's wonderful. It's horrible. Um. Okay. It's been saying nine minutes since uh, I began staring off into the distance there, and nine minutes can mean different things to different people. If you live on Mars, nine minutes is just a little bit longer than nine minutes on Earth, because their day is a little longer there. On um, Mercury, it could be a lot longer, because I believe Mercury is tidal locked to the sun, so nine minutes and nine days can be the No, one day and one year are the same. So, nine minutes, uh, you know, 24 a year, and it's a long time. It's a long time. Alexa, how long does it take to, for Mercury to orbit the sun? Mercury's on the sun's orbital period is 88 days. 88 days! 88 days. Any time. You're welcome. So, yeah. This is seven minutes. Do you think I can hold my breath for seven minutes? I think if I try and hold my breath for seven minutes, I'll end up holding it a lot longer than that. Or at least I'll just stop breathing altogether. I'm not going to try that one. 45 seconds was enough. You'll notice I put in memory in this while breathing. Oh, I haven't said what I'm going to use this for. I needed a, uh, a machine that I could run Catalina on because I don't want to run Catalina on my main machine. But I still want to have it. There's a lot of 32-bit programs, utilities, you know, uh, a couple of games, you know, nothing big. You just, you know, little just play-by-yourself games, not, nothing big. I do not play online games of any sort, except for like HQ, which is at 9, so I bet. It's HQ music tonight, so I don't know. Um, tunes, HQ tunes. Uh, but I wanted to have a machine, I, I have, it's going to be a certain kind of server, and I wanted to be able to, um, you know, keep up with the times with some of the software that I'm running to enact that server. For instance, there's going to be a, a VPN client on here to reach out into a VPN. Because, uh, you know, what I, what I do, when I push buttons and stuff, it's nobody else's business. I don't, I don't need everyone else, any, everyone else able to have a look into my business. And it's just because, you know, that's what I believe. And um, the VPN that I like to use, um, I'm not sponsored, so I'm not going to tell you. Five minutes. Um, they've got a great suite of software for the modern machines. And I figure if I'm getting something that can run, you know, Mojave, let's run Catalina. Oh, by the way, I was wrong. My, uh, my laptop is running Mojave. That, that wasn't Catalina you saw before. Um, I realized this when I was doing something just before. I will um, tell you a truth now. I pre-recorded all that stuff way earlier today. Uh, it was um, it was captured with this little box I have. Uh, you run an HDMI connection into it and it records it to a flash drive. And I recorded the audio separately on an iPhone just using the, um, you know, the, the, the voice notes app or whatever it's called. Just well, then that's what this is for. I was just dictating into here, not dictating, but I was recording into here, and that's the audio that you'll hear. I don't have a clapboard or, clapboard or anything, so, you know, it might be a little bit off, you just seen, but I will try and get it right. Um, you know, get the audio and the video synced up. Five minutes, still. It means no time has passed which is not possible in this plane of existence. Um, 
So yeah, and I, I want to be able to put the latest version of the VPN software on here because it's a lot more convenient. And to, to be honest, I have another machine that's doing what I'm going to want this one to be doing, but it's, a, it's an old 24-inch iMac, and it's big, and it takes up a lot of space where it is, and it's hot. It's very large, very hot, and I will tell you something. Climate change is real. It is the 1st of November, and every year in the past, I've lived in this house for 17 years, every year in the past, November 1st, air conditioning wouldn't be on, windows would be open. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 82 Tonight, degrees outside. Expect a low of 78 degrees. Okay, the sun has been down for an hour. It's 82 degrees. It's hot. It's hotter than it was. I, I don't have kids. I don't want kids. You know why? Because I could tell we were screwing up this planet. My sister's got kids. I love them. But, you know, I fear for the world that they're going to be living in in 20, 30 years. Especially if I'm not in it. Who's going to, who's going to make jokes? Um, oh, look at that. It's, um, I need that green marker again. Yeah. Um, what are they going to do? That, we're all insane in my family, so, you know, I didn't, didn't need to watch someone growing up like that. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, well, at least with the windows closed, you don't hear my noisy neighbors. I actually have noisy neighbors in this dinky little neighborhood. Oh, look at that. It's doing that again. It did, it did that again. It went like that far. Now, given that this is Cat Alina, um, it'll probably go inverse. You know, dark screen, white out. Oh, hey, I was right. And now I need a, a, a white marker. Oh no, actually, it's it's loading up pretty quick. And just, see, this is a 2010 Mac Mini. The slot on the front. Look it up. It's like the only one. They went from you know this kind, where they all had slots in the front because discs were still a thing then. You see, this is like one of the drives, the machines I would use. When I wanted to plug this into a TV, and I have more than once, DVI out, HDMI in on a TV, and I'm watching, uh, I'm watching, uh, baseball, or whatever. 11 minutes remaining. I can yammer on for that long. Or I could stare up in the distance, or I could yammer on and then, uh, just speed it up in editing. 10 minutes in. Might be less. Might be less. At any rate, I got a, I have a heart out in about 20 minutes. So we get as far as we get and then I'll pick it up later. I'm only gonna be out for a couple hours. I can finish tonight. Because I like you people and I want you to see this. Um where was I? Somebody remind me. Somebody in the comments, just remind me where I was. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for that. Um, yeah, so I want to be able to run the VPN software. I want to be able to run the server software on a machine that is a little smaller. You know, obviously smaller footprint. No, not that an LCD generates a ton of heat, but when it's on, it's you know, it's a, it's a lot of a lot of heat in that thing. And it's a bigger box. This I can put off in a corner, 
if nothing else, that iMac is in the living room because I do use it sometimes during the day while, while working. It's next to a laptop. I have an uh, expansion thing, two monitors, which I need for work, you know. Then I, I play with the Mac on my bench, bench time. Um, so, yeah, it's just maybe not the electric bill down a little, just a little. Um, I might try making this into my Plex server. I use the i7 Mac Mini as a Plex server and for everything else. Um, so I might try using this as well. Although with the VPN on, I might, you know, have issues streaming internally and, and what have you. So I might, might or might not do that, but I certainly could do other things with it, especially if I was to get like a, um, uh, what's it called? Well, it's got USB, so if I get uh, like a USB to Ethernet, I could do some stuff with that and give it a second Ethernet port that way. Um, you know, it's got wireless and it's got Ethernet, so I, you know, you know whatever. Oh, it's up to nine minutes. Hmm. Yeah, no shoes in here. I put this up, but I never put any shoes in it. I am going to step away for a couple minutes and then we'll come back when this is more towards complete or if I miss it, it'll be up and running and I'll show it to you. Oh, I gotta get up. Oh, boy. Kids, don't get this old. Well, do, but take better care of yourself. Oh. <clears throat> it's moving, but it still says nine minutes. What? What? No, no, wait a minute, not yet, I'm not ready! Come on, later, in a bit, in a bit, I'll be right back. Took my shower, didn't shave. According to this, only eight minutes has passed. It's closer to 30. So, it says about a minute remaining. Let's, we'll see how long that actually takes. This actually is a little but, you know, it'll overall use less electricity and, and then the iMac. Oh, so what I was saying before about that um, HDMI capture box, um, I was, uh, I wanted to use it for stuff like, you know, capturing stuff off the, uh, off of the computer. Oddly enough, it didn't want to work with this one. I would have used it here for what you're looking at there, at least for some of it. It, it won't work. It just picture gets all out of whack. Maybe if I had it hooked up to a real 1080p monitor, but this conversion technology um, just didn't want to work. But I'm not lugging an actual TV over here. Thank you. No, the one that's over there is too big, and I'm not. You know, I'm not. Can you see me? I have my glasses off. Can you see me? I can't see you. Well, that's better. Um, yeah, about a minute. Um, yeah, but it turns out you can capture from other devices. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just, I hooked it up to my, uh, the, the, uh, the DVR that my cable company uh, supplied me with. And it turns out that, um, well, it's not that familiar with uh, DHCP. Not DHCP. That, that's, that's IP addresses. D, DMC. No. IMC. Whatever, whatever that four letter acronym is that supposedly prevents stuff being copied um, over HDMI. Um, oh boy. Estimating time remaining. Now it doesn't even know. It doesn't even know. Scotty doesn't know. Um, yeah, so all those uh, 40 old episodes of At Midnight I have on the DVR 
will end up in my Plex server. Cool. Files are enormous though. It's gorgeous. It's full 1080p high quality. It's gorgeous. But it's big. The uh, only it'll only take drives that are formatted, um, uh, you know, regular uh, regular uh, regular uh, fat, regular fat, not X fat. Not, you know, not NTFS, not uh, EXT4, just FAT. And therefore, it'll only take like 2 gigs per file. And that 2 gigs is exactly 27 minutes, which is marvelous for recording 30 minute programs. Now, what I can do is if I'm watching at the same time, I can skip through commercials and hopefully scrape 3 minutes out. And then I get it down to one file, but it's also it's turning into an editing project because I take those files and I throw them into iMovie and I carve out the commercials and you know I have to you know label them correctly so that the Plex or whatever just knows what they are. Um, you know, is what it is. It's a bit of work, and um, we may. I, the reason I wanted to do this, because I know I had them on there and they'll be there until I delete them. Uh, we may be swapping uh, DVRs. First of the year, Homeowners Association is renegotiating their deal with Comcast. And I have to go along with it. We're actually we're going to get X1, which means I can I have something else in the house I can talk to. Hey Siri, isn't that great? Oh, I'm detached to it speaker over there. I was listening to a podcast in the shower. Hey, Alexa, isn't that great? I don't have an opinion on that. Well, you wouldn't. At any rate. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Come on. So. That's the meeting time remaining. My, my heart out has changed. Um, I have, it's 8.03 now, I have until about uh, 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Before I gotta go. Hopefully this should finish by then so I can show you what it is I want to show you. Well, what I want to show you is just the Catalina desktop. Because that is what is we are going, that is what we are going to see. Got all the right words now, just gotta get them in the right order. Um, yeah. This is where we wait. It was 5.30. I was ready for dinner. Alfred calls. It's when I go catch something to eat. About 8.30. 8.45. He had to push it back then. I was ready to eat then. I had to have a snack. Ooh. The AC kicked out. Um, less than a minute remaining. Remember, time is relative. Don't wait this, but it's still sick up. Should have moved the, uh, vacuum cleaner. In fact, I should move the vacuum cleaner while it's plugged in and running. I should move it all over the floor. <clears throat> well, tomorrow's Saturday. I might just do that. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, that's why. So, yeah, with less than a minute remaining, I don't know how many other odd thoughts I can tell you. Tripod's on the bed, so I do have to finish this before I go to sleep tonight. That's all. If I want to, you know, keep the camera angles matching. I could put tape on the spots where the, uh, the tripod feet are, but yeah, do it again in the morning, but the lighting might be different, and I'll be wearing yet another set of clothes. And you know, it's just it's, it's too confusing for you people out there. The mere fact that you're seeing me at all, seeing me at all, I have a tendency to rush my words together when I'm excited. The fact that you people are getting to see me at all. Especially in such a long, possibly multi-part video, I have not made up my mind yet. 
I know it's confusing for everyone. I have mentioned I've been demonetized, right? I'm doing this for nothing. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have... I got a Venmo. Send me a couple of bucks. Um, yeah, oh, what do you know? Apple Card just informed me that I spent $81.34 last month and received $2.21 in daily cash. I'm going to wait until that daily cash adds up to a decent amount. I'm not touching it until then. And then I'm going to take it out in nickels and then roll around on it in the bed. This bed right here, the one that you're standing on. Get off my bed! You're standing on my bed. Don't stand on my bed. Less than a minute remaining. The top of the computer is quite warm. It is quiet. And I am sitting in the back here where the heat comes out. I am actually going to uh, do this. Now, it's got a short cord on the back, like I said, three foot cord, so I'm just going to turn it sideways so that the heat is not blowing on right on me. Less than a minute remaining. It's still hot. Look at that. I'm going to remove this. Booting from the SSD. I like how on the packaging, the SSD, it says it's 15 times faster than a 5400 RPM drive, which it is. Snow Leopard song. I like Snow Leopard. There's no leopard like Snow Leopard, like no leopard I know. Can't run it on a G5. Last thing you can run on a G5 is 10.5 point whatever, I think. <clears throat> I was uh, looking at my G5 the other day. I thought I had a Blu-ray drive somewhere, and that tonight was going to be yet another episode of Upgrade Rolldown, um, wherein I take said Blu-ray drive and pull it out of wherever it is, wherever it happens to be, and put it in uh, my Mac Pro. I've got two Mac Pros now. The other one's about 10 feet behind you in the corner. I'm not showing it to you. It's that same corner where all the other computers have been. And it's a 4 comma 1. It's decent. It was cheap. And um, it's now my iTunes um, master library machine. I am also going to try and crowbar either Mojave or Catalina on it. But I have to get a better video card for it first. And I spent my video card money on this. Actually, the proper video card would probably cost more than 180 bucks I spent for this. Yes, that's right. I spent 180 bucks for this. And it came with the short third-party cord. It was for mono price. I like mono price, but, you know, I think I go for the mono link cord, one, you know, one yard long. Go for the do, go for the fathom, the two yard long cable. I haven't spoken this much in one day and I don't know how long. I mean, I do my job on the phone a lot, but it's, um, not for like an hour straight. Spend a lot of time on hold or just moving around the mouse on someone else's computer. Ooh. Ding! Oh, my shoes on now, so it's harder to move my feet on the floor. I'm squatting on this box. Well, there it is, the Catalina gray screen. Oh, I know how that sounds in my head. It must sound worse to you. But I apologize. Mm. Hello, Carolina. Are you there? Yeah, I, well, it, it may just be because it's first boot, but it is a little slower than I'd hope. Oh, here we go. Afghanistan. No. 
uh, Uganda, Ukraine, United States. My uh, some of my um, forefathers come from Ukraine. Um, yep, yeah, one of my neighbors has an "fu Trump." Uh, SSID. Um, me, I don't. Mine's just called Last Exit. Good luck trolling around and finding it. Uh, excuse me while I type in my Wi Fi password. I'm not going to transfer any information now, but I will do it later. And I'm going to skip the Apple ID for the moment because my intention here without much further ado uh, up and down and B and B it's only temporary anyway I am going to Margaret over my Margaret I'm going to Margaret over some Hulahan later. I'm going to migrate over the account on that other machine. But I wanted to get to the desktop. I left the fan on in the shower, didn't I? You can hear it. I know I can hear it. I'll bet you can hear it too. They should have put a lightning port. I mean, everything's wireless now. They should have put a lightning port on the front of these things so that you could have plugged in lightning port, lightning headphones. I'm just going to take the root. I'm not going to share because I'm selfish that way. Checking iCloud status. I'm sure it's there. I'll just take the faults on these for now. Yep, that's the Bluetooth speaker I was listening on, and since I haven't been listening for um, 20 minutes or so, yep, 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 um, oh, there's set up later, in tiny little gray print. I don't need all this screen time info. It's a server. Let me go. Oh, nothing's perfect. Oh, I'm going to stick with light mode because depending on the video, the GPU in here, there may be some glitches like you saw on Mojave on my laptop. So I'm just going to stick with light mode. Dark mode may be untenable. And it might be unten dot fifteenable. Okay, you, you saw that, right? Lines. There's check, 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 lines, lines. Shouldn't it be lines, check, lines, check, lines, check, you know, the item and then check it off. I think they have that backwards. It doesn't know this wonky keyboard, so I will just tell it. Yes, that's that key. Ah, there is a patch to install for Night Shift. Hello, where'd you go? Hey, what'd you do? Well, if I hit enter, it's going to install the patch and restart. <laughs> well, you saw it for a second there. The actual um, desktop. Oh, there it is. I somehow managed to log myself out. But yeah, that's Catalina. At least so I'm told. I've never been. I've only been to California once. And that was a San Francisco area. And I did park in the Apple computer. Headquarters parking lot. It was a long time ago, before the loop. 
and for a round building, for all the, the infinite loop encoder. I'm going to skip that for the moment, and I'm going to complete this standard ANSI keyboard. I'll have to spray it later, but there you go. This is Catalina on a nine-year-old computer with a series of processors they don't make anymore. It was never designed to, to do such a thing. And here I got it doing it. Where's that pointer? I, I, I mean, here, look. And since I downloaded the latest, really? All right, I can't zoom. I'd have to set that up. But yeah, 10.15.1. Mac Mini, mid-2010, 2.4 gigahertz, Core 2 Duo, 8 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce 320M256, the serial number that I may or may not blur out. Um, it works. DOS Dude 1, cool guy. Some other YouTubers you should watch. Greg, Greg Hrutke, Hrutke Mods. Like I said before, Crazy Ken. You should watch him. Um, yeah, watch Lazy Game Reviews and watch, uh, watch Techmoan. Oh, I love the puppets. I love the puppets. I love the Techmoan puppets. Uh, British puppets are the best. Um, yeah, watch Al. Watch me. I may never do another video again. I don't know. This is a lot of work, and I haven't started editing. Well, I have. I started editing some of the pre-recorded stuff, but oh, God. All right, that's enough, kids. I'm going to dinner. I'm hungry. It's hot in here. Alexa, lower the thermostat one degree. The AC is set to 77. And it's November. Ugh, people ask me if I miss New York. Sometimes I do, man. Sometimes I do.